Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, <clears throat> and in this video I'm going to show you a four-digit, seven-segment uh, binary counter uh, that I recently did as a project uh, with a lab partner in one of my electronics uh, classes. Uh, it, uh, it could be done with a, a very minimum number of chips, but this was more or less kind of a challenge that was put to us. Uh, and the professor uh, uh, basically said we had to use a 555 timer to uh, initiate the count, and he was looking for seven segment output, <clears throat> and we needed to be able to uh, watch it count up. Uh, in his case, he was actually only looking for a single digit, uh, but uh, I opted to go ahead uh, with my lab partner and do uh, four digits in this case. And uh, you'll notice it flickers a little bit. Part of the reason it flickers is that uh, this is also using the camera catches it a little more than your eye would if you couldn't, uh, if you weren't seeing it with the camera. Uh, but I used uh, something I've shown in another one of my videos called multiplexing of the output. So it's actually writing one digit at a time. It's just writing them so quickly uh, that you can't see. And in fact, the uh, the circuitry to decode the segments is only does one digit at a time. It just does uh, all four of them, one right after another, very, very quickly. The other thing about this uh, circuit that makes it rather interesting is that the logic to do the decoding is done with discrete transistors formed into logic gates. So rather than using uh, a single chip that would do the, uh, the decoding, uh, the professor uh, threw out, I think jokingly, uh, a statement, boy, it would be, uh, be kind of cool if you could do this with discrete transistors. Uh, so I opted, uh, after talking to my lab partner, and said, you know what, we'll, we'll do it. So you're going to see the whole circuit here. Uh, and <laughs> trust me, it is a rat's nest of wires. But anyway, let me, uh, let me take this uh, camera off the mount here, and I'll kind of back up here and show you what we're looking at. Um, it takes a lot of wires and a whole lot of transistors. There is uh, a couple of hundred uh, BJTs in here, both NPN and PNP, and they're formed into AND and OR gates. Uh, and there's actually a couple of NOT gates in there as well. But um, this board and these two boards contain all the logic circuit, all the circuitry and logic to drive the seven segment output. And I'm not even going to really try to uh, show you too much other than that they're organized as a series of gates. You'll see the transistors all there lined up in rows and they form uh, AND and OR gates. And then there's a few NOT gates. Uh, to do things. Uh, additionally over here, just to make it all work, uh, right after I come onto the board here, there's a couple of additional transistors that are used really to drive this thing so uh, there's enough power, uh, or enough current I should say, flowing to make, uh, to make the gates themselves work. Uh, this board uh, contains the logic uh, well, in fact, here you'll see is a, a 555 timer module. It, it just makes it easy to configure the, uh, the timer to output the square wave that drives this. Uh, and then it comes on the board here. And I've got, uh, there's a couple of counters. Uh, one counter here uh, takes the, uh, the primary square wave in, and it actually takes two outputs off of it one of the outputs drives the counter that you ultimately saw counting up. The other one uh, is driven to another counter that's used to drive a multiplexer, which is what determines which digit we're updating, or which digit, I should say, that we're displaying at any point. So I steal the clock signal uh, and divide it up to, uh, to get the output. Uh, I also uh, this is done as four sets of four bits uh, to get the uh, to get all of the digits out and I've actually you'll see in there some dip switches which allow me to set a value uh, for it to do as well as the fact that there's a reset and I've also got a uh, a switch back here that allows me to control uh, you can't see that 
which allows me to control whether it counts up or down. Uh, so we can, uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. I am going to uh, post, uh, you'll see it in the comments on this video, I am going to post the Karnal map I used to build the seven segment outputs, all the logic gates, and I will also put in a diagram that lays out the general logic of this board here, uh, which does the initial primary counting. Now I will acknowledge readily that most of this could be done with a couple of chips and in fact depending on what I used for my seven segments um, I've got a couple of chips on it I could probably have done this with two or three chips but this was more of a challenge to see how it would be done uh, and you know we we stepped up to uh, make that happen uh, anyway uh, there's not much more I can tell you. I, I will show you here as an example. If we go back over here, let me zoom in on this again. Uh, I can reset it back to zero. Uh, you'll see here that I can force it to a value, of which it'll then start counting up from there. Now, if I can do this without one hand, I'll flip this switch in here. There we go. And you'll see now that it starts counting down. Uh, so I can do it either way. If I uh, reset it, you'll see it'll count down from there. So it goes to zero and up to 65, 536 and counts down. 65, 535, correct myself there. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's the circuit. It, uh, it took quite a while to build and was... Uh, uh, I don't even know how many hours I think the two of us put into it. It was probably a, a good uh, 25 hours or more. Uh, it's not something I would readily do. I certainly wouldn't, in, wouldn't encourage anyone to take it on, but it was uh, educational. It allowed me to utilize a number of things that I have separate videos on, so you will you will see. Um, I'll also include in the uh, comments uh, links to the uh, AND and OR and NOT gates. Uh, that are used throughout this. So if you're interested you can look further and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to, to add a comment or uh, whatever and I will uh, respond uh, when I get a chance. Anyway I hope you found it interesting. Thank you.